everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and today I have an upper body resistance band workout. It's only 15 minutes long including a warm up and a cool down so it's perfect for that coffee break at work. You do need a little bit of equipment, a chair which hopefully you have being at work and a resistance band. Other than that, let's get started. So we'll start first with a little warm-up, so just sitting comfortably in your chair, back up straight. We're going to start with just some arm swings, forward and back, okay, so pulling them in, give yourself a little hug, and then pulling them straight back, bringing those shoulder blades together. We're doing each of these warm-up exercises for about 20 seconds. Now we're going to do up and down. So again, when they go up over your head, you're reaching up high and then pulling them down. Next, we're going to do some large arm circles forward. Just get some range of motion here. This isn't a really long warm up. It's only about two minutes long. But hopefully it'll just give us a bit of range of motion and a bit of heat in those arms so they're not working them cold. And then we're going to switch to large arm circles backwards. Just a couple more seconds here. Then we're going to do some small arm circles forward. So just little sort of at most uh, six inches in diameter. So just some little circles forward. You might even start to feel your arms working here. It's, it's hard to hold them up, just the weight of them. Just a few more seconds. And now we'll switch to backwards. This one might feel more challenging. We've already held them up for 20 seconds, so the arm muscles will be feeling it. This is our last warm-up exercise. seconds. Perfect. So grab that exercise band. Our first one is going to be a lateral arm raise. So we're going to sit on it and then just pull our arms straight up. Actually, sorry, lateral arm raise is out to the side and then down by our side. Now we're going to go through each of these exercises for 30 seconds with a 10 second break in between. And once we've gone through all of the exercises once, we'll go through and do them one more time. So give them a little break and next we're going to do the ventral arm raise, which is the one right out in front. So I've wrapped my band just around my wrist one time, or around the top of my hand. So now we're going straight up. Now these exercise bands, these resistance bands, they come in different colors. And the colors mean um, sort of how difficult they are to stretch. Um, so when you go to the store, if you want to purchase one, you'll want to keep that in mind to try out the different colors because different colors are harder to pull, therefore creating more resistance, therefore making the exercises more difficult. Okay, so next we have a rhomboid squeeze. So take out your band and hold it in front of you like this. And you're going to try and pull your shoulder blades together at, behind you. And therefore pulling that band closer into your chest. Now, when you're doing these exercises, if you're finding, oh my gosh, this is really, really difficult, move your arms a little farther apart so you don't have as much tension on the band. Then it will become a little bit easier. On the other hand, if you're finding these exercises way too easy, move your hands closer in together and then pull back in. It's much harder. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a quick break here and then it's a shoulder pull down. So same sort of position as we just had up above your head. And now we're going to pull our arms out to the side and down. You need to do these sort of nice and slowly so that band doesn't snap, which is good. It forces you to do the range of motion nice and slowly, 
and that makes your muscles work harder. Just a couple more seconds here. Okay, quick rest. The next one is a chest press, so you're going to put that band behind your back and sort of up into your armpits a bit, and then push your arms forward. Just as if you were lying down and doing a chest press, but we're doing it sitting here in our chair. Exercises like these are great for at work. It's really easy to have slouching posture, um, tension headaches creep up, and taking just 15 minutes in your day to do something like this, you're not going to get super sweaty, uh, so you're not going to stink in your clothes for the rest of the day. It doesn't take a lot of time. A band folds up so, so small. Okay, now we're going to sit on the band, wrap it around the wrist, left arm up, tricep extension. Um, yeah, they fold up really small, so you can just tuck them in your desk drawer so you've got it there at work all the time. It's a great way to take a break and sort of get yourself revved up to deal with the rest of the day's challenges. I find tricep extensions with a band very challenging. Okay, now we're going to switch off and do the right side. So I wrap it around one time, giving myself a little bit of slack here. Right arm up. Give it a good stretch. And again, if you find it too easy or if one arm was way more challenging than the other, just adjust your band and then go back to it. Next up, we have a bicep curl, so try to get your band about equal on each side. Give it a little wrap around, and then you're just going to sit here and curl your arms. Oop, that's too tight. Curl up. And of course, there are limitations to the band. Like, for example, right now, I need to adjust. Um, I'm only feeling the pull on the way up, not so much, I mean a bit on the way down, but it, it has its limitation. When I get to about here, I don't have any more tension, so that last part of the exercise isn't getting a full tension. But that's okay. Okay, now we're going to get ready for round two. And good, we're already in the right position for the lateral raise. We've done everything once, so it's just doing it one more time through. So we start with the lateral arm raise. And again, with this one, you'll see tension starts here. I feel it all the way up, back down, and then it's a little break here. And that's okay for your muscles, for sure. You just want to keep the full range of motion. Um, you could sort of do just little pulses right here if you wanted to, and have tension the whole time. That would be fine as well. Next up, we're going to have that ventral raise, so same position with the band, arms straight out in front again. And again, we can do full range of motion, so start right now, full range. Or if you don't like that bit where it's sort of a break, if you want to work harder the whole interval through, then feel free to just do pulses in the hardest range of motion here. It will work those muscles a lot more. So maybe it's something you want to work up to. You can start with the you know, full range of motion where you get that bit of a break. And then as you get more, not more good, as you get better at it, then you can do pulses. Okay, we're going to get off our band. We're going to do the rhomboid squeeze now, or shoulder blade squeeze. So we've got our arms up in front and pulling back. Now an exercise like this one, we do have the tension the whole way through. So it is challenging the whole time we're doing the exercise. That doesn't mean you can't still do pulses if you want, right here. That's fine. Okay, just five more seconds of this. Okay, and give my arms a little break. The next one is the shoulder pull down. So arms in the same position on your band. 
up overhead, and we're pulling down. This is another one that you can do pulses with right here if you want, sort of in that hardest range of motion. But keep in mind that this is another exercise that you feel the tension the whole way through. These ones that have tension the whole way through are, are quite challenging. <laughs> Okay, next up we have a chest press. So this is the one where we need to get our band up into our armpits. I like to wrap mine around a bit. And as I'm noticing 10 seconds is a lot and not a time in between. Okay. And I think I can make that a little tighter even. There. A band is something that needs adjusting often. So if it slips, Put it back in place. Okay, next we have the tricep extension. So we're back to sitting on our band. Wrap it around one time. Ready? Extend all the way up. And let it go back down. Now the whole time you're doing all of these seated exercises, you're trying to keep your back nice and straight, your abs are pulled in tight, your shoulders are back, sort of thinking about good posture the whole time in the back of your mind. And now we are going to switch off to the right side. This is a great way to fit exercise into your day when you don't have a lot of time. A little 15 minute work is excellent. Now you can feel good that you've done something today um, to keep yourself healthy and active. Because I know a lot of us, when we get home, our day only becomes more crazy if we have kids who are off to soccer practice or football practice or music lessons or acting lessons or whatever it is, the day just goes by. And when we get home, it's not our, the end of our day. Okay, bicep curls, last one. So we're curling up and then down. Now again, this one I lose a bit of tension at the bottom. So if I want, I could just do pulses sort of in this hardest small range of motion right here. This is our last exercise. Excellent. So now we're going to get ready for a really, really, really quick cool down. So take that band and just drop it on the floor beside you. And we're still staying seated. We're going to start with wrist circles. So arms out in front, hold one direction and then the other. Sometimes holding the band, that wrist sort of has to work really hard to stabilize. So it's good just to give them a few little circles here to stretch them out. Now we'll do a cross stretch, so take your left arm, pull it right across. It should feel really good up near the shoulder. Uh, just like the warm up, we're doing these uh, cool down exercises for 20 seconds apiece with no break in between. We'll shake and then switch sides. Now again, this is quite a quick cool down if you feel like you need to do more. Absolutely, hold the stretches longer, add in more stretches that I didn't include, whatever it takes for you to feel good after your workout. Then we'll do a tricep stretch left, so arm it's behind your hands behind your back. And again, try to stay up straight. We don't want to slouch over when we're doing this. We're trying to keep our good posture the whole way through. Release and switch sides. So now the right arm is up, hand is going down your back behind your neck there. Posture is still good. And we have one more 
stretch after this. This is a chest expansion, so you're going to hook your fingers together behind your back, pull them out, and then if you can, lean over. And just let your upper body sort of hang on your legs here, and your arms, let them drop down. Head is relaxed, no muscle tension. And that's it, 15 minutes, all in a chair. We're rejuvenated for the rest of our day. Thank you very much and hope to see you again soon. To keep up to date with the latest workouts, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on Facebook. Have a workout request? Send it at gosimply.ca slash contact.